Welcome back. Let's take a look at the race here. 53 days. That's it till the election and the president. If you compile these uh, polls here and put them in a composite, you got 43 here. Um, what, what is it? Yeah, we got 53 days, got about three points here. Thank you, Andrew. Um, and uh, when you do the electoral math, it's, it's even wider than that. Now, in addition to extending the lead of the conventions, President also getting a bump in a critical policy area, right? Yeah, that's true, Rich. And we also have that plus the baddest pro wrestlers in the world look to soften their online image as we check politics in 60. It was supposed to be Mitt Romney's biggest strength and President Obama's biggest weakness, but in the last four major national polls, the president has caught or passed Romney on jobs in the economy. All the results are inside margins of error, but none could be considered good news for the GOP nominee. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania's top court hearing arguments Thursday on the state's new voter ID law. The GOP-led state says the law combats voter fraud. Critics say it's designed to stop minorities and Democrats from voting. Nearly 20% of Philly voters could be disenfranchised. A quick ruling is expected. Focus on Florida. Former GOP Governor Charlie Crist introducing President Obama this week and Bill Clinton on the stump there twice as the Democrats prepare a huge ad buy there starting today. Why? An Obama win in Florida could be electoral checkmate for Team Romney. Obama leads there in poll averages. And the WWE scrubbing online video after some popped up in an ad against former CEO Linda McMahon. The company says it's to reflect a more family-friendly product. Critics say it's violent and sexist. The news yesterday was primary day for the New York State Assembly and Senate. Comes 15 months after the state legalized same-sex marriage and provided the first test for Republican senators who bucked their party and voted in favor of marriage equality. Of the four Republicans who voted yes, three were on the ballot yesterday. Mark Rosanti won his primary easily, but Stephen Saland is up just 23 votes and Roy McDonald is down 100 votes. Both races will go to absentee ballots and likely to recounts. The fourth Republican yes vote, James Alessi, is retiring. And, you know, same-sex marriage polls 50% nationwide, higher than that in New York State. What does it say to you that the Republican Party purged its pro-same-sex marriage votes in those primaries yesterday or came close to doing it? And does that risk, Bill, putting the party out of touch with New York voters? In the, uh, I think in the McDonald race, the, the race had less to do with same-sex marriage than it did with local union issues um, that McDonald had. But in the Saland race, you know, certainly, and in primaries, you see more conservative voters come out. But what was most notable, I think, in this election was, was the, the reprehensible tactic that, tactics that were used in the primary. Very anti-gay, very, you know, vitriolic stuff. Talk about hate speech. The stuff was just thrown out yeah. there. And I think that was re really very unfortunate. Um, I'll just say one thing. Those four guys deserve some credit here. Because they had some political, real political downside. They know they were looking at primary, uh, being primaried and doing it. And it took some political courage. Couldn't agree we more. don't yeah. see too much of that. Are, Steve Saland won. Are they bad That's Republicans right. now for having voted for same-sex marriage? No, no. In, in fact, the um, in fact the the party or the Senate majority, you know, uh, is support supportive of the incumbents. But their voters. But what but not. what you have is is you you ask yourself an attack from more conservative candidates. You open yourself up to a primary. That's really what happened. And money comes in from both sides. You have the national organization on marriage which is very organized very well healed that came in and attacked and then you had money come in from moderate republicans um, that supported you know that supported the incumbents that voted yes so how long has it been since a republican won a statewide office in new york it's been a while. i mean those yeah. are that, the, that it's a, it's a, but, it's, but it's, a, it's a fight that has to occur within yeah. the party and what you see is is the you see the the lincoln s republicans that believe in equal rights for everybody I tend to be on that side, and the conservative Republicans that, that believe that they have to support t traditions and... and uh, you know what I'd say, though? Again, we'll see how it all plays out, but good for those four guys. It took some guts to do what they yeah. did. America Votes continues after this. Stay with us.